Ever get so into a video game like you're battling a final boss and the rest of the world just fades out? Yeah, totally. You're laser focused. Exactly. That feeling, that's kind of what this whole Zen philosophy thing is about, which we're diving into today. Right on. Living in the moment. Exactly. And it's not all meditation and like emptying your mind stuff. It's about actually experiencing life more fully way less stress more focus yeah less of that mental noise and more of actually like enjoying things so you're the zen expert what's the deal with this whole being present thing well it all boils down to what zen calls mindfulness <laughs> and it's more than just like being aware it's about tapping into this moment without all the usual mental chatter we have okay so like no more obsessing over that embarrassing thing i said last week exactly <laughs> or stressing about that presentation next week Ugh, tell me about it the source material actually talks about this like clinging to the past and future. It's distracting us from what's actually happening right now. Yeah, it's like static on a radio, right? You can't even enjoy the music. Exactly. Zen helps us tune out that static and experience the richness of right now, just like when you're crushing it in that video game. Oh, for sure. You know, it reminds me of this one time I was so worried about this presentation at work, just going over every little detail in my head, and I totally blanked on making coffee. Oh no. Yeah, and I mean, I make coffee every single morning, it's like second nature, but I ended up with coffee grounds everywhere but in the filter. Talk about not being present. It's funny how that happens. We think we're helping by overthinking, but really it makes us less focused, more prone to mistakes. Totally. So this might be like that classic question, but how do we actually be more present? Like it sounds great in theory. But my brain just doesn't shut off that easily. Right, gotta quiet those thoughts. The source material mentions using your senses to kind of ground yourself. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so next time you feel yourself spiraling, just pause, take a deep breath, mm. and notice. Mm -hmm. What do you see, hear, smell, taste, feel right at this moment? Wow, I like that. It's like hitting the reset button. Exactly. Brings you right back to the present. That's awesome. So basically, we're trying to tap into that super focused gamer mindset, but in everyday life. Totally. And by being present, we can actually enjoy life more, find more joy in those little moments. And way less coffee ground explosions. Exactly. So, to wrap things up, Zen philosophy is about embracing the present moment. By quieting those racing thoughts and really tuning in to what we're experiencing, we can live with less stress, more focus, and yeah, maybe even have a bit more fun. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We all have those moments, right? Where time just flies by because we're so engrossed in something. Cool. Like maybe you're playing that awesome video game. Maybe you're having a really great conversation. Lost in a good book. Exactly. What if the key to a really fulfilling life, a really present life, is figuring out how to tap into those moments more often? So that's your challenge, listeners. Pay attention to those times where you're totally in the zone. What triggers that feeling? What's different about those moments? You might be surprised by what you discover.